Welcome back to our channel, The Art Lover Millennials. This time our topic is on types of sculpture. What are these three types of sculptures? Before that, we will first define what is sculpture. A sculpture is a three-dimensional form constructed to represent a natural or imaginary shape. A sculptor is a person obsessed with the form and shape of things. And it's not just the shape of one thing, but the shape of anything and everything. The hard, tense strength, although delicate form of a bone, the strong, the solid fleshness of a beech tree trunk. According to Henry Moore. Here's one type of sculpture. It is called relief sculpture. A relief sculpture protrudes out of a flat surface and its projection into three-dimensional space is relatively shallow. The back of the relief sculpture is not meant to be seen. The entire design can be understood from a frontal view. Second type of high-relief sculpture. The high-relief sculpture where the figures in the sculpture are dramatically raised from the background, they are sometimes nearly sculpted in the round. That is high relief. How about bas relief sculpture? Bas relief also referred to as low relief, characterized by figures that are only slightly raised from the surface of the background. Take note, slightly raised. Sunken relief. This is somewhat a reverse of the high relief. Sunken relief from the word sunken, also known as incised or intaglio relief. Relief that is created by having an image carved down below the surface of the sculpture. Carving is the process of creating a sculpture by cutting, chipping, away from otherwise removing material from solid mass using a chisel or other carving tool. Because materials is taken away from the mass, carving is known as subtractive process for creating sculpture. The most common material used in carving sculptures are stone and wood. In fact, most of sculptures throughout history were made using this method subtractive method tools in carving are called chisels there are however different types of chisel the free standing or full round sculpture full round sculpture that exists in three-dimensional space to see all parts of the work you need to walk around with it it inhabits three-dimensional space in the same way that living things do. The sculpture in the round cannot be appreciated from only one single viewpoint but must be circled and explored. Modeling is another form of sculpture. Modeling is a process in which the artist uses soft, pliable materials such as wax, clay, or plasta that is gradually built up and shaped until the desired form is attained. Unlike carving, modeling is an additive method. Take note, modeling is an additive method. As the sculpture is continually adding material to the form, that's why it is called additive method. The material may be constructed atop some sort of metal frame or skeleton known as armature to lend support to the soft material so it will be able to maintain its shape meaning there is a structure inside uh, the soft material such as clay that will support the sculpture and make it stand another types of sculpture is casting Casting is the process of filling a mold with a liquid material or applying a pliable material to a form and allowing it to harden 
In either case, when the material hardens, the resulting form is a cast. Armature, another types of sculpture. This is made by gluing or welding some metal parts and derive into a form. Installation is another type of sculpture. A sculptural artwork that transforms an entire space into a work of art is constructed using materials found on site or is re reliant on its location for meaning. The location is a part of the artwork. This is installation. A sculpture that transforms an entire space into artwork or wouldn't exist without the space it, it, it occupies. You need to walk through this piece. You need to walk through the piece to experience it. Just like here in the picture. Assemblage from the word assemble, assembling found objects in unique ways to create sculpture. This is called assemblage sculpture. A found object is anything used in, in artwork that is recognizable as an object that existed before. Examples include the truss or woods or metal. Construction. This is a type of sculpture that is additive. Additive process where existing materials are attached together in some fashion to create a sculpture. This method of production can be used to describe the use of a number of different materials and processes including but not limited to example weaving, welding, woodworking, blacksmithing or assemblage. Non-objective form of sculpture or sometimes called abstract art that is simplified from something in reality this is abstract sculpture this is art that has no recognizable subject matter it is based on the art elements and principles only representational sculpture art that has recognizable subject matter and it is it is based on reality example here the animals Kinetic sculpture. Kinetic sculpture contains moving parts and can be set in motion by air, currents, or motor. Postmodern. The postmodern art is some is a body of art movement that some that sought to contradict some aspects of modernism or some aspects that emerge or develop in its aftermath. So let's have a recap on what we talked a while ago. Relief sculpture. Example of relief sculpture. Free standing sculpture. Example. Installation sculpture. Kinetic sculpture. Earthworks Sculpture So here's the review Relief, In the Round, Installation, Kinetic, and Earthworks And that's all for today folks And don't forget to subscribe Just hit the red button down below And share the videos for more Thank you so much